yes. <laughs> Do you like me? I hate your guts. Ladies and gentlemen, at long last, you have finally stumbled onto the main event of the All Things Foolish daily comedy show broadcast, which I personally compose. Yes, folks, this is what you've all been waiting for. My splendid Top Joke Countdown! Yeah! Sadly, and with great displeasure, I am contractually obligated to introduce to you now no! a pathetic sideshow attraction who always needs an introduction. The man who always wants more, but delivers much less. The producer of this wretched mess fiasco. That no talent reprobate loser that everyone loves to hate. Dick the Prick Fitz. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? This is Dick Fitz, and I'm the host and narrator of All Things Foolish. This is volume 16 of some of the best one-liner jokes that are my personal spite-filled favorites. Be sure to hit subscribe to find out why I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it. And with no further ado, now the fun really begins. <laughs> El numero diez. From my perspective, there are no winners in life, only survivors. That revolting Dick Fitz joke reminds me to tell you that you don't have to die to be dead to me. I have mental funerals on a daily basis. <laughs> I pee the fool goes home crying to his mama. And your crybaby whiny ass opinion would be... El numero nueve. Have you ever wondered why all politicians are as windy as a sack full of farts? You have the most remarkable ideas. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. I have the power! El numero ocho. Some of us learn from the mistakes of others. The rest of us have to be the others. If you don't like me, have a seat with the rest of the bastards waiting for me to give a damn. The sooner I never see you again, the better it'll be for both of us when we meet. Ooh, mama. El numero siete. If my son-in-law, Rusty Carr's brains were dynamite, he couldn't blow his nose. <laughs> Trust me, you're the definition of class. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine you with a personality. El numero seis. I found that a friend is someone who'll help you move. Well, a good friend is someone who'll help you move a dead body. Get me out of here! You're so inspiring. Would you like me to show you what I'm good at? Let me get right to the point. I'm smarter than you. And I'm going to find out what I want to know. And I'm going to get it from you whether you like it or not. I heard that when you ran away from home as a child, your folks sent you a note saying, Do not come home, and all will be forgiven. You are dead! El numero cinco. Now think about this. If you don't say it, and they can't repeat it. That baneful joke inspires me to tell you, hey, train wreck, this isn't your station. I 
I thought of you all day today when I was at the zoo. El número cuatro. When we were together, you said you would die for me. And now that we've broken up, I think it's time you kept your promise. Yes! Get me out of here! Ooh, I'm dying! You are dead! I might be the black sheep in my family, but when hell gets real, I'm the one you call. Nobody says that you're dumb. They just say you were 16 years old before you learned to wave goodbye. Oh, baby, a triple! Oh, yeah! El numero cinco. For me, life is like a bird. It's adorable until it poops on your head. That insufferable Dick Fitz joke made me remember that the next time I'm on a roller coaster, I need to take some spare bolts with me and tell the person in front of me, Do, these came out of your seat. I would say that you're barking up the wrong tree, but that's your natural voice. El numero dos. Now, see, if you're supposed to learn from your mistakes, then tell me why is it that some people have more than one child? I'm so impressed. I'm going to name my next child after you. <laughs> you have a great family tree, but the crop is a failure. <laughs> Today's top joke is... You know, I think a lot of the voices in my head may not be real, but they frequently have some very good ideas. <laughs> oh my god, who the hell cares? That nauseating joke inspires me not to brag or anything, but I can forget what I'm doing while I'm doing it. I hear voices, and even they don't like this guy. Well, thank you very much. You really suck. Ooh, I'm dying! Well, folks, that about wraps it up for today, and I'm afraid that yours truly, old Dick Fitz, is about all worn out delivering this tedious mirth and merriment to you. I'm hoping to retire soon at my new, less than cheerful home, the Dunham Inn, here in Lollapalooza, Louisiana. Ah! And if you made it this far, you obviously could tolerate my rather annoying voice more than any of my nine former wives or my 19 miserable children, my mean and plug-ugly elderly mother Hazel Nutsmasher, the entire staff of my mother's asylum nursing home, my father mixed up, Mariah that I never met, my quack urologist, Dr. Ben Flamin Cockburn. Hold on to your butt. My disbarred criminal attorney, Burnham Good. I got a bad feeling about this. My multi-state chain of topless men's clubs. Yeah! My current foul mouth, sometimes girlfriend, Anaconda, who actually manages one of my adult men's clubs. You are dead! My bad-tempered cat. <coughs> my oversexed pet monkey. Yeah, baby! <laughs> my cross-eyed three-legged goat. <coughs> my dimwit county sheriff, Les Booker. You are going to be placed under arrest. All the long-suffering members of my local AA group. Red alert! My former effeminate Baptist minister, Dick Head, with sin in his heart, who had an affair and actually married one of my former wives. Hallelujah! Chastity Charm, who was a retired exotic dancer. Oh yes, wow. My syphilitic older sister, Betty Humpter. And everyone else in my less than adoring and ever expanding family. Ooh, I'm dying! So now that you know what I'm up against, please don't hurt my feelings by forgetting to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this volume as much as I enjoyed recording it. Oh man, that was a great way to end.